A little over 12 years ago, I began serving as the senior pastor of what is now known as Cornerstone Church. The church was over $2 million in debt, which amounted to a mortgage payment in excess of $20,000 per month. And there was no plan to address it. It was 2009 and the economy was in pretty rough shape. There were a lot of people who had lost their jobs and some had even lost their homes. The church had been in decline for a couple of years and giving was not where it needed to be for the church to thrive. There were a lot of things that needed to change, but at the time, I had no idea what they were and I had no idea how to lead through them. There were a lot of ups and downs for the church during those first several years. And the lowest point came in 2014. Through different series of events, many people had left the church and giving had completely bottomed out to the point where we depleted all of our financial reserves to cover the budget. During a retreat with the elders, we made the decision to commit to meeting together early on Sunday mornings to just pray. We prayed for God's provision for his church, and we prayed that God would give us the courage to lead towards the future. We prayed for God to do what only God could do for his church. We asked him to provide in such a way that it would only be able to be described as a God thing. And he did. Sometimes I'm surprised and I don't know why. Sometimes I wonder why in the world this has happened to us because surely we don't deserve it. A little over three years ago, we launched a capital campaign called Unafraid to prepare ourselves for what God has in store for us. We don't know exactly what it is, but we are living open-handed and we are trusting God to guide us. Through the Unafraid campaign, we have paid over $700,000 against our mortgage, and we are one step closer to being debt-free and ready to do more for the kingdom. It's 2021 and the global pandemic has changed a lot about churches in general. More churches than ever have started online worship services, but there will also be a large number of churches that will never recover from the pandemic. But at Cornerstone, we are walking into the future unafraid and with great anticipation. Five years from now, we believe Cornerstone will exist in three to five locations from Hilton Head to Hardyville. We want to saturate our community with the gospel by showing and sharing the goodness and grace of Jesus Christ with 25% of our neighbors. And one of our first steps towards accomplishing our vision is to completely eliminate our debt. So we are launching a new capital campaign called Above and Beyond. We believe that as we as a church family give above what we regularly give, we will be able to go beyond where we currently are. This campaign is going to be an 18 month campaign and we firmly believe that at the end of 18 months, we will be debt free. So here's our plan. We invite you to take home one of the above and beyond packets and begin praying about how you can participate in this new campaign. Our commitment Sundays are going to last for three Sundays and will begin on May the 16th. We want to give everyone an opportunity to respond. Campaign packets will be available during the next three weeks. So please take one home, read over the materials and pray for God to lead you in your commitment. During the Commitment Sundays, we also encourage you to participate in what we are calling Give Big Days. Our first Give Big Days are going to be May 16th, 23rd, and 30th, because we want to start our campaign off strong. And I'm praying for 80% of Cornerstone to commit and give towards this campaign. You've heard us say that you can't do life alone. Part of our lives as followers of Jesus is pursuing the call that he has placed on all of us to go and make more disciples. We know that we are better together. And when we all give above, we will be able to go beyond to where God is leading us. So what are you waiting for? Let's go above and beyond.